So this how-to video is going to demonstrate pairing the VACA sensor with the Polar Vantage M watch. So here's the Polar Vantage. Um, we need to get it into pairing mode. So we press this bottom left hand button just uh, just once. That'll bring up the menu and we scroll down using the right hand buttons down to settings. There we go. Click on settings. We want uh, general settings. And we want to pair and sync. Uh, we're not going to sync with a phone, but that's how you do that. And then we go down one, two, pair and sync with other devices. And you can see you can look at devices already paired. So one point here is you must uh, disconnect your VACA from any other Bluetooth device you've paired it to. Um, the Bluetooth technology in the VACA will only accept one pairing. So it's, it'll be bonded to whatever device it's paired to. So if it's paired to a phone, just delete that pairing before you try to pair it with a, uh, a, a watch. So we're going to click on pair sensor or other device. Click on that. It's trying to look for devices. It won't find it until we pick the VAC up and we start to move it. So if we roll it round, that will activate the VACA sensor. We'll just press pair again, rolling it round, and it's found that uh, VACA sensor. So uh, yes, we want to pair it. Press the green button. It will come up with, um, should come up with, it's done. Do we want to pair it to bike one or bike two? Well, you may already have a bike sport mode, so we're gonna go to bike two. We're gonna pair it to that. That means your sensor is now linked to your bike two profile. It has to be linked to a bike sport mode because um, Bike Sport Mode is the only uh, Bluetooth wireless protocol that supports cadence. Um, so your Bike 1 can be your road bike, your Bike 2 can be your kayak, you can do Bike 3, Bike 4 if you want, if you've got a mountain bike or whatever. Um, but it must be paired to a Bike Sport Mode. So that's all done. Um, uh, the next step is to set up your data fields on your Bike Sport 2 mode. And you, to do that, you'll need to go into the um, Polar Flow app either on your phone or on your computer. Garmin, you can do that from the watch, but with Polar, you need to use the Polar Flow app. Uh, so I'll do another video showing you how to do that.